Dear Pharmacist, Welcome to Better Health in Bangladesh. Today we will watch how to use pharmacy management software through the mobile app. After the registration is completed, the authority will sort out the information and send you the link, shop code, username and password to your email from the email address of betterhealthbd1 at gmail.com. First, go to the Google Play Store on your smartphone to install the pharmacy management software app. Search by using the keyword pharmacy ERP. I repeat pharmacy ERP. After searching the app icon with Directorate General of Drug Administration's logo will appear. Click on the app icon to install the software. Once installed, this app icon will be seen on the home screen of your smartphone. After installation, open it by clicking the app icon. After opening the app, the login screen will be appeared where you will need to fill up the code, username and password. Enter the shop code, username and password received from the email. For example, here we are using our shop code, username and password. Now click on login. After login, the main dashboard of the software will be appeared. The first option in the dashboard is today's purchase. You can see the daily purchase price of your store right here. Then there are today's sales to see the daily selling price of your store. Today's collections represents how much money is collected every day. You can see the due amount of the sale per day in the sales dues option out of stock show the number of drugs that are stock out in the shop expired medicines show the medicine which has already been expired the following graph represent the comparison of your monthly sales and purchase you can generate graphs through the date selection the blue color line represents the purchase and the orange color represents sale. You can see the other monthly data in the below section. If you want to buy medicine from a supplier or pharmaceutical company, click on the purchase option from the three lines above indicator which is the menu bar. After clicking on the purchase, you will see a list of suppliers and pharmaceutical companies to select the supplier and attach to the drug purchase option. After selecting a specific supplier, the list of drugs from that supplier will be appeared on the next page like this. After that, you can click on the required medicines from the list. After clicking, the following option will appear where you will need to enter the batch name, expiration date, date of manufacture, number of drugs, and the price of the drug mentioned on the drug strip. After entering all the information, click on purchase and confirm. Then the price and quantity of the drug will be visible at the bottom of the previous page. At the same time, after buying one or more drugs, if you want to see the details of the drug list, drag 
the green bar from bottom to top. After dragging, the full list of purchased drugs can be seen. After selecting medicines, click on the green arrow in the upper right. Now you will see the page of purchase info. Here you can see invoice number, invoice discount, invoice date and purchase date. Fill up the purchase info correctly and click save to server option. After clicking on the sync option from the menu, all the data will be stored on the server. If you want to sell the product, click on the point of sell POS option from the menu bar. After entering the point of sell, you will be able to see the list of the medicines in the store. You can choose medicines from here as per customer demand or prescription. When selecting a drug, a short list with the price of the selected drug will be visible. After selecting the drug, drag the green part from bottom to top. From the detailed drug list, you can increase or decrease the amount, price and discount amount of the medicine. When the customer list of drugs is completed, click on the green arrow in the upper right. Then you will see a page of info. All information including drug prices will be visible here. Here you can add the customer name, mobile number and the invoice discount. Now you can save the data to the server by clicking the save to server button. If you want to print and save the receipt at point of sale, click on the print and save button from the option below. If you want to keep the customer waiting for any reason, click on the hold option. It will move to you where you can keep information of the customers are waiting by inputting the customer's name and phone number. Click on the whole list option to see the customer's whole list. Now to see the entire sales list, click on the invoice menu from the menu bar. After clicking, the list of all invoices will be visible. You can see the invoice receipt by clicking on the specific invoice from the invoice list. A point to be noted here, two more options will be noticed next to the report list. The first option is export. After clicking on the export option, all the data of the invoice will be automatically saved in the memory of your device. The second option, filters. By going to the filter option, you can find the specified invoice filtering by your customer's name, mobile number, invoice, and date. If you want to share all the information of your invoice on another mobile or device, first enter the invoice, then you will see an option called share, indicating at the top right. You can share it by clicking here. If you want to see the recent or monthly income, click on the report option from the menu bar. After clicking, all the information in the form of a list can be seen here. Clicking on the recent sales option from the report list, you will make all the list of recent sales visible. Similarly, you can see the list of purchase by clicking on the purchase list option, monthly income by clicking on the monthly income option and monthly expenses by clicking on the monthly expenses option. From the feedback option, you can send us your opinion, feedback, or any related queries. If you need to log out for any reason, click on the log out option from the menu bar. Many thanks to all of you 
for watching the video